365 is a mass media and internet provider in Iceland. It's actually the, the largest privately owned yep. media company there. Um, and it runs seven TV channels, five radio five stations, radio and a lot more. Yeah, ticket sales and on a music streaming, a lot of uh, yeah, an online uh, news website and a newspaper, fashion magazine, so we're all over. All kinds of media yeah. activity. And you're a senior developer with 365? Yes, I'm a senior developer. Uh, I mostly work on uh, Visir.is, our largest our news media portal. But uh, I also manage everything Varnish related at 365. Mm -hmm. And when did you start using Varnish and then Varnish Plus? Uh, we started using Varnish uh, initially for Visir uh, in 2014. And then uh, late 2015 we contacted Varnish software for <coughs> Varnish Plus because we were launching an OTT platform uh, for our TV su subscribers. So, yeah, we contacted Varnish and uh, launched our uh, domestic CDN for uh, our customers in Iceland. So you used Varnish to build uh, your own CDN? Yeah. Uh, we built a CDN mostly located in Reykjavik with five nodes. Uh, and uh, uh, each node has uh, two terabytes of SSD storage. But so why, w how did this come about? Why did you decide to build your own private CDN? Uh, there are a couple of reasons. Uh, mm, the, mm, our users are mostly located in Iceland. Uh, at the time there was uh, very few CDN operators uh, located in Iceland. Uh, level 3 has a present there. And so we did some research and we contacted uh, Level 3 and Fastly. And yeah, so we want our, uh, our content hosted in Amazon. So we want to have a CDN presence in Iceland to reduce latency and also because some of the internet service providers in Iceland they charge extra for international bandwidth so we don't want our subscribers to have to pay extra fees for using our platform. Mm -hmm. But you were using a different CDN provider before? Yeah, we did use level 3 for uh, uh, I think it was one or two years for uh, a different product with we streaming two of our TV channels. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but that was uh, for this use case, uh, it was too expensive. Mm -hmm. But so, you know, if you can elaborate a little bit on that, how, how important was the cost and the control of the content for you when you made the decision to build your own CDN? Uh, the cost. Uh, both backend uh, and Amazon cost and also the cost uh, for our subscribers was the highest priority to keep it as low as possible because this was a new product and we didn't want to invest too largely. We wanted to roll it out and uh, keep the cost as low as possible. Mm -hmm. And also to have control over the CDN where uh, the configuration and location, so that was really important to us as well. Mm -hmm. But what about sort of um, uh, costs, savings, and, and operational savings? Yeah. Have you have you figured out how much uh, you managed to save? Um, if we had we contacted Fastly and Level Three, uh, I don't have the numbers exactly, but the initial start cost there was. Uh, quite higher, uh, and not higher because we had to buy the machines, but the it was a start, start cost and the added uh, unknown cost of bandwidth and uh, we didn't know how our platform would be taken, so 
we decided to have a known figure, so we bought just our notes, and so the cost is never uh, surprise, su surprising. Mm -hmm. It's a fixed cost. Yeah, a fixed cost. Mm -hmm. But so, um, you mentioned that there weren't that many CDNs in Iceland before you made this decision, but no. w what attracted you to Vanish Plus specifically? Would you, you know, how did you uh, think of it? Uh, our technology partner who developed the OTT platform you're using, it's called uh, companies called OS, they suggested it to us so that we look at Varnish and Varnish Plus and the the big feature for us was the massive storage engine and the high availability to have a persi persistent storage on all of our nodes and replication uh, between them. Mm -hmm. That was the biggest uh, selling point we chose Varnish Plus for. Mm -hmm. And of course the support, because this is, these are uh, like mission critical solutions for 365, so we wanted, if something comes up, we have the support. Mm. And how has the support been working for you so far? Uh, really well. Uh, I've contacted support a few times and uh, they've always helped me with my problems. Mm -hmm. So if, if you were asked um, by a media company or uh, any other company, would you recommend uh, using Vanish as a, or recommend to other people to, to build their own CDN if they have that type of need using Vanish? Uh, definitely, if the company uh, wants to reduce the backend network cost and has the ability to locate their nodes in, a, in data centers or, or anywhere. Uh, and definitely, and of course, because of the features of the persistent storage, that's just, uh, uh, for us, they are uh, mission critical to reduce the network and, and backend costs. Mm -hmm. Do you, so, um, the user, I mean, do you have any feedback from, from your customers about the service? Uh, yes, it's been, Generally, very good. Uh, the, the, there's never been an issue with the streaming as such. There have been uh, maybe complaints about people don't like this in the app or that, uh, but the app is in constant development. But the streaming is, has been just uh, without uh, any problems. Thanks very much, Vanders. Yeah, no yes, problem. Thank you very much. Thank you for